Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining us again tonight for what's for dinner. So on the menu tonight, we've got jalapeno mac and cheese and vegan parm and vegan bacon asparagus. I think about what I was making. Um, the asparagus is my own recipe that I just threw together one day, thought it was tasty and the family loved it. Um, but the macaroni and cheese is from a recipe on Pinterest, and I will link it in the description. So definitely go in, find it, check it out, taste it, see if you like it, and go from there. Um, I don't measure, y'all. So it's going to be hard for me to tell you, like, what I put in it, how much of this, that, or the other. My child. So definitely um, just watch me. Season it to your liking and go from there with it. But I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Here it comes. All right. So here are the ingredients. We got um, your standard elbow macaroni and cheese. No fancy flavor, brand, or anything. I've cut up a white onion here. Kind of diced it down a little small. I'm going to use some minced garlic. And you'll see what I do with that here in just a minute. Got a little bit of vegan cream cheese some diced jalapenos. The recipe, I think, calls for like regular jalapenos, not pickled, we prefer pickled. And you know, the oldie but goodie, some avocado oil. Gonna use that to saute up the, veg the onions and garlic. And then we've got some asparagus. We actually like asparagus. I leave it in the water in the refrigerator to keep it fresh and firm the entire time. Um, the cheese sauce, we're going to use some raw cashews. You guys know I like some cashew cheese sauce. A little bit of salt. Um, we're going to use some nutritional yeast. Y'all already know. A little bit of Dijon mustard, some pepper, and of course water to blend it up in the blender just right. All right, so we're going to get these ingredients into the blender. I've got the cashews. They did soak, and I drained and rinsed them off. I've added the nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and, of course, the Dijon mustard to the mix. And then I'm going to pour in this water and blend it up to, again, it'll look like a watery consistency. But once we get it on the stove and get it cooking, um you won't even realize that it was once this consistency. So I'm gonna put this in the blender, get it all up and going, and then set it aside while I get the pasta on the stove and get it boiling. The water is nice and boiled, just, you know, cook pasta the way the box tells you to cook it. Add a little salt to the water, bring it to a boil, and then stir in the pasta shells. Um, I'll let that boil um, till it's the texture that we want it to be. And then um, we'll then blend the cheese and the pasta together before we place it in the oven. Um, while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and saute up my onions and mm, garlic and then the jalapenos. So I'm just going to use about a little bit of avocado oil with the pan I've heated up. And then I'm going to take and add in my onions. Y'all know me. My one-handed motion, trying to get this in the skillet. It's a struggle, y'all. It's a struggle. One day, I'm going to invest in a camera that will allow both hands to be free. But until then, until then, you get one-handed motions. All right. So that's sauteing up, cooking down a little bit. I've now taken and rinsed off the asparagus to get it ready. Um, I'm going to pour some um, avocado oil on it. Of course, my oil of choice. So definitely doesn't have to be avocado oil. Whatever oil you prefer, definitely use that. But my preference is the avocado oil. So I'm going to take that and sprinkle it with some salt, some pepper, um, a little onion powder, and garlic powder. And I'm going to take and massage all of this in just to make sure that they're evenly coated. Um, because you want all of the asparagus to actually have the flavor. So I take and I've got the oil, the salt, and the pepper right now. I'm going to take and massage all that in, get it together. And then what I'll do is I'll make a single layer of the asparagus before I add in the other seasonings. Um, again, one hand in motion. So you guys are going to see the asparagus already layered out. Okay. While that's um, 
marinate in. I'm going to sprinkle in my onion powder, how to cover all the asparagus with that. Sprinkle in a little bit of the garlic powder that we talked about. Make sure that's all covered up and good. Then I'm going to bring in some Parmesan cheese. And this is vegan Parmesan cheese is what we're going to put on there. All right. Checking in on the onions. They look like they're cooking down pretty good. Don't want those guys to burn. So I'm going to um, come back to the asparagus and show you guys what I do with that here in just a bit. So now that the onions are cooked down a little bit, I've got the jalapenos and I've added in the garlic. So I've got... I don't know how much jalapeno is in there right now, but I'm adding that into the mixture. I just put enough to where it's helping your taste, but not to where it's super spicy to where we can't eat it, if that makes sense. And I'm going to put that in and cook it down as well um, before I add in the cream cheese. So all of this goes into the skillet. We literally are marinating the flavors into each other. And when I say this macaroni and cheese is heavenly, I just can't eat it all the time because it's a lot of starch. But I enjoy it. I enjoy cooking it. My family enjoys eating it. So it's a hit in our house. All right, now I've added in some of the cream cheese. And this is the one that we use as far as cream cheese goes. There's two of them. There's um, another cream cheese that's like the sour cream I use, a tofruity or tofuti sour cream. But I like the Vio Life one a little bit better. And you can find it at your local grocery store. If they have vegan options, just look for the vegan section in the store. Um, it does not melt quite like regular cream cheese does, but it does get to the point that it's supposed to be at. It just takes a little bit more work and time to get it there. So I'm going to take and melt this down, combine it all together. And once I get this all melted down, then I'll take and add in the uh, cashew cheese sauce mixture that I made in the blender. I just want to make sure I incorporate everything together so that all pieces are mixed together, blended in before I bring over the cheese sauce. And as you guys see, it's going to be very liquidy, like water consistency. But as you cook it, it's going to thicken up. Look at those onions. They look so good. I can just eat it right now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to wait until it gets cooked up. So I'm going to take and mix that in and allow the sauce to thicken. I'm going to turn my heat down so I don't scorch it, but up enough to where it'll blend together and cook together. All right. I'm also going to make sure that I get my pasta drained, rinsed off. Well, no, I won't rinse it. Just drain the pasta. So that way, once this sauce thickens up, I can then mix it together. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to come back over to my asparagus to get it ready for the oven. That's the Parmesan cheese that we use. And this is kind of what it looks like. Sprinkling it out. It literally looks like shredded Parmesan cheese. So I take and I sprinkle that all over. And then add my bacon bits to the mix. And this is ready to go in the oven. Um, these are the, like I said, this is a recipe that I came up with. But this is something my family loves. So I take and I put that in the oven. And I'll set the temperature to 400. And I'll put it in for about 10 minutes. This will give me time to go and work on the macaroni and cheese and get it combined together because it's going to go in the oven as well. All right. So this is what the cheese sauce is looking like as it thickens up. I am going to take about, I think, a half a cup of the water and place it in the mix as well to help, I guess, help the um, pasta, the cheese sauce stick to the pasta and then cause it to thicken up more. Honestly, I just followed the recipe. Don't know why it told me to do that. So I sound like I made that up, but that's what I'm thinking happens because it does stick to it pretty good when I remember to add the pasta water to it. Um, it helps with the starchiness of it or the starch in the water helps with the, uh, the thickening of the sauce. That's what I'm going to go with because look at this sauce. Look how thick it has gotten. Remember, we started out with water down there and now we've got a thicker consistency that we can add our noodles to. So once this sauce has gotten to its consistency that I'm good with, I'm gonna take the drained pasta and now add it to the cheese sauce. I mean, it may look a little soupy, but trust me, it gets thicker. And it's so, 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 so good. 
if you try this, definitely let me know in the comments what you think of it. Because the first time we had it, it was heavenly. And it gets better every time, every time. So this is the pasta all drained. And we're going to mix that in, combine it together, let it cook down for maybe a couple more minutes. But look at this, y'all. That looks like almost like regular macaroni and cheese. In my mind, it is regular because this is my regular diet. So um, when we say vegan mac and cheese, I just say regular. So I'm going to combine that all up together and get ready to place it, transfer it to a baking dish and then top it with some croutons, which are also vegan. So I found these um, croutons at my local grocery store and they are accidentally vegan. They don't have any ingredients in it that would make it vegan. And all I do is I take and I place them in a baggie and crush them up. Before I can add that to there, I'm going to take the asparagus out of the oven and reset the oven to like a broil so I can put the macaroni and cheese in because I just want to brown the top of it. But for a moment, let's pause and look at this asparagus. Look how good that looks. Oh my goodness. So I know I'm biased because it's mine, but I think it looks tasty. All right, so the macaroni and cheese is all done, all combined together and mixed up, ready to go. Um, this is the size baking dish I use. I use one of the smaller ones because it's not a whole lot of macaroni and cheese. And I wanted it, the flavors to still stay together and to allow it to still be creamy once I take it out of the dish versus it separating and maybe drying itself out. So this is what it is looking like in this casserole dish. I'm going to take and sprinkle the top again, my one hand in motion. I went the easy way and put these croutons in a plastic baggie, matching with my meat tenderizer from back in the day. And boom, I had crushed croutons. So I'm going to take and sprinkle the top of the macaroni and cheese with the croutons. And then I'm going to place it in the oven and just watch it broil for just a little bit of time. Because you don't want to not watch it. Because I've had that happen as well. And when I wasn't watching it, it burned. So this is what it looks like all covered with croutons. So you can do panko chip, I mean panko crumb, breadcrumbs. You can do croutons if you can find vegan ones if you're going fully vegan the choice is yours whatever works for you do you um and i'm placing this in the oven i'm gonna put it on high broil and there is no timer on this one just gonna broil it and allow it to cook and go from there all right so it broils for maybe two three minutes max but look at the crust and how brown it got oh my goodness it's so yummy I'm not going to try to take this out one hand because I will burn myself. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, the finished product. So I've got the crust all nice and brown and it's ready to go, ready to be plated. I'm going to plate it with my asparagus. Look at that beautiful plate, y'all. It looks so yummy. Um, again, Lauren will be my taste tester. She is my taste testing queen. But I just wanted you guys to get a close look at the texture of the asparagus, of the macaroni and cheese. This was a wonderful, wonderful dinner. It tastes so good. So, so good. Here's Lauren's thoughts. So Lauren is gonna taste it for me, but she already done stuck her fork in her mouth. What'd you think of the macaroni, Lauren? What? It's good. Okay, can you taste the asparagus? Um, put, put the fork down. Put, oh, okay. Taste the asparagus. Don't suck it in your mm. mouth. <laughs> I've taught her better manners than that, y'all. Thoughts, stop. <laughs> your thoughts on the asparagus, Lauren. Delicious. Delicious. There you have it. Thanks, love, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Um, as Lauren said, you saw her slurp it, right? So, Thanks so much for watching. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti Speaks.